What's up, everybody, and welcome to the Weekly Flare Podcast, episode 44. I'm your host, James Walter, and with me, the man, the myth, not quite the legend, Mr. Chris Garcia. What does that mean? What do you mean, what does that mean? The man, the myth, but the not the legend. I said not quite a legend. You're still working on it. True. Look, you can't be a legend off the bat. You gotta get to it, you know. Heroes get remembered, but legends never die. I thought heroes were born, but no. Legends are born? Oh my no. gosh. <clears throat> I have no idea what you were trying to say now. I was, it was quoting the Sandlot. Oh, you were quoting the Sandlot. Well, that movie was okay. All right. Excuse me. Babe Ruth doesn't think you liked it that much. That was from Babe Ruth. He quoted that. Yes. Anyway, so this week we have all sorts of crazy things to talk about. Um, some very interesting things happened this week, Chris. For instance, Star Wars Battlefront came out. Yes. And that's been a lot of fun. And every time I'm playing, Rachel just comes into the room and yells, I'm driving the at at Because during the beta, when I was playing with Brinson, I was driving the at I was like, Brinson, I'm driving the at at and she was like, you sound like a little kid because you're so excited. And I was like, well, whatever. I'm driving in an at So I'm sitting there playing. And she's like, I'm driving the at at It's pretty funny. but So overall, greatest game release of 2015? Uh, no, it's not the best game of the year. What is the best game of the year? I don't know. There's still some year left. But um, it's good. Worth getting? Yeah, definitely. How often do you guys get on? Well, it's only been out for a day, so we played last night. Will you be getting on later tonight? Uh, maybe. Don't know yet. If you don't get on, then I won't buy it today. I'll buy it by tomorrow. Okay. Buy it tomorrow. Got it. Sounds good. Buy it tomorrow, and after I'm done editing everything, we can get on and play. Awesome. Unless yeah. you're in bed, because you like go to bed so early. Actually, I go to bed around 12 o'clock. Oh, okay. That's not very early then at all. No. No. Not at all. Chris. Yes. We have someone on Meerkat who said, Go Blue! I'm trying to figure out what that means. Are you implying for Duke? Mm. I don't know. Chris. Yes. What do you have to talk about this week? I got some good stories. I have some good stories. I'm going to try not to look at my phone as much as I usually do. Oh, good. I think no one's requested that but me. So That's I good. appreciate it. Because <laughs> I've been trying to watch the videos before because usually the videos... A listen, oh, no, watch, you're odd, okay, you're and, it, and it helps me out here. Mm-hmm. So we've got this five-year-old boy. He's got four stage can- stage four cancer. Um, four stage cancer would be different. Yes, it's stage four cancer. All right, stage four so cancer, it's, it's, not four stages of cancer. No, that'd be like a movie or something. Yeah. So he's requested, and he's he's five years old, and one of his biggest heroes is a police officer, and that's what he's looked up to. And that's what he's wanted to become. So, this is in Massachusetts in Pittsfield. Hmm. So, uh, the Pittsfield Police Department showed up and they, uh, they, sworn, they sworn him in. He, he was sworn in cool. as an officer. And he was able to do some training uh, and also being able to arrest somebody as well. So, he was able to fulfill his dream of becoming a police officer. That's pretty sweet. Yes. The officer... Probably the youngest police officer. Most likely. Most likely the youngest police officer. We've seen this before with Bat Kid, and then they came out with a movie. Yes, but Bat Kid wasn't a sworn in police officer. No. But it was still pretty cool. It was still pretty cool, agreed. But uh, this kid was sworn in. That's pretty sweet. Probably youngest police officer ever. Yes. At least that was, uh, no, probably. Most likely. Probably the youngest that was ever sworn in. So, uh, the officer that was um, running him through everything. He was the one that trained him through and, and did all that and sworn him in. And now he's got a friend and they, they're, they've they grown up, you know, to, I guess, connect. And they just are there for each other now. Cool. That's the way we can put it. So uh, hats off, of course, like we always say, to the Pittsfield Police Department. Uh, I actually... Especially because they have to avoid all those pits. I guess we can and there go all our followers. That, I guess we Thanks can for watching, way. everybody. We can put it that way. This next one's out of uh, Kathleen, Texas. Okay. Um, this Where's lady, that at in Texas? Middle. Okay. I don't really know. I don't know. This lady is known as the Hug Lady. Her name is Elizabeth. Mm-hmm. She is 
old. Or she's older, I think. Uh, she's 83. That's old, yes. It is. I think that qualifies as old. She is also an Air Force veteran, uh, and sadly, she has lost her husband and her daughter in 2008. That is sad. Uh, in 2005, she was diagnosed with cancer. So it looks like she is known in Texas for being the hug lady. Mm-hmm. The hug lady meaning is that she thinks, roundabout right guess, that she has hugged over 500,000 soldiers in 10 years. It's a lot of soldiers. She's always there in the airports. Uh, she is seeing people who are leaving and who are coming back. Um, but sadly, right now she is in the hospital uh, with her, with cancer. It's affecting her life. So uh, some of the soldiers that have impacted her, uh, that she has impacted are showing up to the hospitals to give her another hug and a kiss and and to support her and to help her out as she struggles um, probably through chemo and all this. Kind That's of pretty cool. Stuff, so. That's pretty. Did it say how many of the soldiers? Just uh, some of them. Yeah, some of them. Yes. So she's hugged. You said five hundred thousand <coughs> over she, ten years. She thinks about five hundred thousand. So that's like what five thousand a year. Yes. That is a lot of soldiers that she has seen. She even stated that, even when her daughter and uh, husband died a week apart, mm-hmm. she was still there the same week to oh, wow. make sure the troops were were sent off. So she's like I said, a veteran. So of does the she Air go Force. out like? Does she just like go out every time someone's deployed or like the same day of the week or? Um, I think she most likely just goes and sees what she can do. Um, I mean, like, does she just like know what time to send out the deploys and goes yes. out? Yeah, or... I believe so. Nice. Uh, but uh, now the troops, uh, now the troops Lord has sent off over the years and rallying return the kindness by raising over eighty thousand dollars for hugging grandmothers. Medical bills. They call her a grandmother. Hug cool. Lady. They have different things. So hug grand, hugging grandmother. No hug lady. No hug lady. Probably actually sounds good. Hug lady. Yep. Maybe a little more creepy, but it also flows better. Yes. So they are also raising money to support her as she supported them. That's awesome. That's really cool that they're doing that. Yes, it is very cool. Chris, keeping it short and sweet today. Good. That's what happens when I. When you prepare? Prepare better. I wasn't going to say it, but I meant more you're just keeping it short and sweet because you're short and sweet and because I have somewhere I have to be. Yes. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a break. And then when we come back, we're going to talk about something that is going to blow your mind, Chris. Because I didn't put it in there early, so you have no idea what I'm talking about. So don't go away. We'll be right back. 